With the Flutter animation package you can do powerful animations and I have already covered the container transform animation and the shared axis animation in another video. And this time we want to create this fade through animation. And therefore we want to build here two pages with some cards and between them we want to have then this fade through animation. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. We want to get started here from scratch and therefore I create here first of all a field index and this is later the index of our tab. So basically we have here the index zero and the index one and later we want to switch between these two pages and then also do our animation. And secondly, we put here some pages inside and I have here already created a first page and a second page and you can later put your individual pages inside. So the first page looks like this here. So we have some cards and then we also have the second page. Now we want to continue and build here first of all this bottom navigation bar and put also our pages inside so that we later can do the transition animation. Therefore I go here to the body property and here inside I put the pages inside and here we select every time by the index the page. In this case we have here the zero index and therefore we select here the first page. However if I put here the value one inside then he would choose this page. And now if I hot reload we have already here the first page inside and I can also put here the index one and hot restart. And now you see we have here our second page. And like I said before you can put here inside of these pages anything what you want to put inside. Now we want to continue here and build the bottom navigation bar to switch easily between these pages. Therefore I go to the scaffold and here inside I have another property bottom navigation bar and we want to set now this bottom navigation bar. And here inside you can set some items so you can set a bottom navigation bar item and here basically you can define the icon and the label and this will then appear here on the left side. So we have here some icon and under it some label and we also want to create here our second tab. Therefore I put here another item inside and I also put here some icon inside and another label. And this looks already like this. So we have here our bottom navigation bar inside and we also want to add some functionality and to customize this bottom navigation bar. Therefore I start here by putting our current index inside. So I simply put here this field which I have created here at the top inside and later we will switch it between the values of zero and one to also switch here between our pages. And initially we have this index here at zero and therefore it will show here the first tab as selected and if this index is here at one then he will simply show the second tab as selected and then this has here the selected state. Now we want to continue and also implement the functionality because right now if I click here nothing happens and therefore I put here this on tab handler inside and here we basically get then the index on which we clicked. So for example this one and then we have here the index one on which we clicked. And we simply put this index on which we have clicked inside of our variable here at the top. And with this we basically can click here on one of these tabs. And secondly we also need to put here the set state around so that our UI gets every time updated if we change our index. And now I can click here on this other tab and you see we switch here between these two pages. Now we also want to customize here this bottom navigation bar a bit. So what we want to do, we want to set here a background color and I set it here to this purple background color which is inside of my primary color. And secondly, we also want to set here this text and the icon in a different color because right now we don't see them. And therefore I put the selected item color to white and the other unselected item color I set also to white, however with some transparency so that we see here less. Let's continue and also implement right now here this fade through animation between our pages. First of all you need to go to your pubspec jumble file and here you need to put this animations plugin under your dependencies inside. After that we go again to our page and here we go to the body property of the scaffold and we want to wrap our pages inside of this page transition switcher. And this comes basically from this animations plugin which I have put inside before. And here inside you need to set first of all a duration. And this is then the duration how long this animation should go from one page to another page. And in this case I have set it here to one second. So this animation will go here for one second between these pages. 
And secondly, you need to set here a transition builder to define how this animation should look like. And here we get then from this transition builder, the child, an animation and a secondary animation. And therefore we can create here this fade through transition. And here inside we put then the animation and secondary animation inside, which we get from this transition builder. And secondly, we can set here the child property inside. And here we basically get this child attribute, which is exactly this attribute which we have here. So we get here the page and this is then displayed in our fade through transition animation. And this is everything what we need to do here. So I can go here to the other page and you see we have here this cool transition between these pages and everything what you need to do therefore is to simply wrap your pages inside of this code. And you also can define here how long this animation should go. And I put it right now to three seconds. And now if I click here on this other page, you see it takes way longer to go to the other page. However, one second is already really good, but you can also customize it here. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code of this application, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a more efficient developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!